Hello Idrin, hello everyone. In this video we are going to see how to make questions using question words. And we are also going to see how we put the words in the sentence by using the inversion when it's a question. In this video gaan we zien hoe we vragen kunnen maken met een vraagwoord. En we gaan ook de inversie zien die we gebruiken bij een vraag. So we kunnen een vraag maken met vraagwoorden. We can make a question with question words. The most common question words are, de meest gebruikte vraagwoorden zijn, ik kan misschien even ook de Nederlandse daarbij schrijven, So, de meest gebruikte vraagwoorden zijn. Zo. So. Wie, wat, waar, hoe, welk, waarom. Zo. So. In English it means wie is who, wat is wat, waar is where, who is how, welk is which. Waarom is why. So there is one false, so-called false friend here. That is who. This one. Who. Because the who is means how, but it's pronounced same as this who. What means we. So that's a little bit tricky for native English speakers. We is who and who is how. Be careful when you use them. So, ik heb enkele voorbeelden. Some examples. Wie is hij? Wie is hij? Wie is hij? And I write she. So, okay. Who is he? Wie is hij? Who is he? Wat doet zij? In English you get a very complicated sentence. What is she doing? So we just switch places with the, the verb and the person and then we add the question word and that's it. So in English you should get something as what does she? she. Okay. What does she? Waar is de kat? Who is het weer? Hmm. Dutch people like to talk about the weather because the weather in the Netherlands and in Belgium it's yeah always bad so they like to talk about the weather and they like to complain about the weather welk boek leest u which book or what book in English we should say are you reading but welk means which I think I have to take this T away otherwise we have a witch what doesn't mean welk but it means a hex so which a witch is a hex and hex which is welk waarom blijf je thuis why do you stay at home so why stay you at home isn't Dutch easier than English yes it is Okay, so, the sentence starts with the question word. The zin begint met het vraagwoord. Then comes inversion. Dan komt inversie. So, hij is, wie, your, our question word, is hij. So, you see, we just switch places with hij and is. We say, is hij. Zij doet. Wat, our question word, and then doet zij. Zij doet, doet zij. De kat is, waar is de kat? Het weer is, hoe is het weer? U leest, welk boek leest u? Jij blijft, waarom blijf jij thuis? Notice that we have a T, jij blijft. And with the question, we don't have a T. Hmm. And, for example here, zij doet, we have a T, and with the question, we still have our T. Hmm. What happens? A 
Okay, let's see. When we make a question, we drop the T from the second person, what is ye, but only with ye we drop the T. All others in singular to keep their T. So that's why this is ze. Ze doet its third person singular. Ze doet, doet ze. Je blijft its second person singular. Je, you. So we drop the T when it's a question. But only with je. Not with any other. Not with u. Because we conjugate u the same form as je. The same way. So u leest, leest u. U is the polite form of je. We don't have this u form in English. But we have it in most other languages. And different with most other languages is that in other languages this one is a, a plural word. It goes the same as you all. Jullie. You. But not in Dutch. It's singular. We don't have the polite form in plural. If we have plural, more people and we want to be very polite like this, we just say jullie. We don't have u in um the in yeah in the polite form in in plural. Uh, I also will write the personal pronouns for you. So keep watching. I will write them for you because I'm talking now about Yuli and yeah. You have to know what it is. So I will write personal pronouns um, when I finished this here. So only with yes. Yeah. So we have some examples. Uh, jij blijft. Waarom blijf jij? U blijft, waarom blijft u? Jij doet, why do I have this? But I have to use capital letters here, of course. With all of them. Let me change to capital letters, so that's better. So, wat jij doet, wat doe jij? You see, it's jij, we drop the T with all of them. Hij doet, wat doet hij? Jij leest, wat leest jij? Zij leest wat leest zij. Okay, so now I will write for you all the personal pronouns. Start with ik. That's I. Then we have jij, you. Then we have u, our polite form. Nope, I have to go up, not down. So u means also you. Then we have hij, he. Ze, she. So then let's go to the plural. We, we. And here we have this Yuli, what I was talking about. Yuli, Yuli, it is you in plural. So you all, Yuli. And then we have a tricky one because it is ze. And you see, we also have ze in singular. And here we have ze in plural. So, this ze is she, but this ze, it's they. So, it doesn't tell it's female or male, but it's plural. It's like the they in English, and in English you also don't know when you say they. It can be man or woman or both of them. So, ze in plural can be man, can be woman, women, can be both of them. Now, maybe you think, will I not be confused with the ze singular and ze plural? No, you will not, because the conjugation of the verb is different. Let me give an example. Let me write one word after this. Let's see, we have a word, the word doen, to do, doen. So, ik doe. Mm, yeah, do it. You do it. He do it. They do it. She does. So let's go to the plural. The plural is always the same as the infinitive. It does not change. What is our infinitive of do? Doen. To do? Doen. So, jullie doen. We doen. Jullie doen. Ze doen. So you see, ze doet is 
this oh i took the wrong one here wait a minute no it's gone <laughs> so zedut and zedun so you see the difference here is with the verb if you hear someone saying of you're reading something ah zedut this or that of zedun did this or that and you know when it's dun it belongs to the plural and dude, it belongs to the singer. But wasn't this video about making questions with question words? Yes, it was. But, okay, if you have any questions, als jullie vragen hebben, zet ze in the comments hieronder, put them in the comments below. And please subscribe or thumbs up if you like this video. And ask me anything I will, I will answer. Oh, my English is not that good. So ask me anything. I will answer. And if possible, I will make a video about it. Just ask me. And um, thank you for watching. Bedankt voor het kijken. En tot in de volgende.